Rhesus negative. When you book your pregnancy in with a midwife, you will be advised to have your blood group checked. This checks for whether you are blood group AB, AB and O. This is so that if you need a blood transfusion after birth, there is a previous record of your blood type. Another thing that is looked for is your rhesus status. If you are rhesus negative and your baby is rhesus positive, there is a risk that your body could make antibodies that would cross the placenta and attack baby's rhesus positive blood. For your body to make antibodies, baby's blood would need to enter yours. This can happen if you have a vaginal bleed in pregnancy or after you give birth. This then means that you have developed antibodies that are sensitive to rhesus positive blood. So that if you are then exposed to rhesus positive bloods again, for example, at a following pregnancy with a baby who also is rhesus positive, your body will produce antibodies quickly that will attack baby's blood. This can cause problems with baby's health, miscarriage and even stillbirth. So you can see that the issue only arises with a rhesus negative mother and a rhesus positive unborn baby. It also is unlikely to affect your current pregnancy and is more of a risk to if you were to have future pregnancies. To reduce the risk of this happening, if you are rhesus negative, you will be advised to have an injection called anti-D. Anti-D basically mops up any of baby's rhesus positive blood cells that may be in your blood to stop your body then producing antibodies to fight this. You will be advised to have anti-D at 28 weeks pregnant and 34 weeks pregnant. After birth, your baby's blood will be taken, this is taken from the cord, to find out what your baby's blood type is. You will also have bloods taken at this point too to check your own antibodies. If it is found that you do need anti-D at this point after birth, you should have anti-D within 72 hours after giving birth. You don't have to stay in hospital for this. If you want to go home earlier, that's fine. You can come back to hospital to have it, or even in some areas, your community midwife may be able to give it to you. Being rhesus negative doesn't have any implication on your birth choices. You can birth where you like and have the same choices as someone with a rhesus positive factor.